three uh, Khel Ratnas in a single year, then now five Khel Ratnas in a, in a year. Uh, that's when you, you know, feel like maybe there is, you know, they're moving towards a stage where they're just trying to please everybody. The Khe, Arjuna Khel Ratna, heavily loaded in favor of Olympic athletes and I have nothing against them. But you also need to give importance to non-Olympic discipline. Somebody finishes fourth or fifth in the Olympics, that's not enough, sorry. As close as you are to winning a medal, it's not enough to qualify you for an award. Because there has to be some standard. If you're going to give it to everybody, just based on popularity and hype, then you're not really truly rewarding sporting or uh, excellence. Thank you, Pankaj Advani, for taking time out to speak to me. You've been a been an Arjuna awardee yourself, a Khel Ratna awardee as well, very early in your career, actually. So I'm just going to start off by asking you what your thoughts were when you know uh, the National Sports Awards were announced this year. They've always been controversial, but we've had an unprecedented 27 Arjuna awards being given this year. Five Khel Ratnas were awarded. We haven't seen, seen something like this even in years. Uh, that followed the Olympics, you know, and uh, the, the, there wasn't really any big sporting uh, event this year or last year for the sports ministry to make to announce such a long list. Uh, so, what exactly were your first thoughts when you saw it? I was pretty surprised, to be honest. Uh, I've always considered the ministry to be fair, uh, at least back in the time, you know, 2004, 5, 6, up to 2010, I felt that ministry is very fair and uh, in giving out awards to deserving sports persons, those who really achieved for the country and brought medals and laurels. At the same time, uh, once they started, you know, doing the, the you know, three uh, Khel Ratnas in a single year, then now five Khel Ratnas in a, in a year, uh, that's when you, you know, feel like maybe there is, you know, they're moving towards a stage where they're just trying to please everybody. Uh, while that sentiment isn't wrong, uh, we also have to really look at sporting achievement in a very unbiased and neutral way uh, and, and be objective about it. Uh, you know, whether it's Olympic sports or cricket or whatever it is. And when I saw that there were 25 or 27 Arjuna awardees, I'm not sure of the number. I know there were five for sure, Kiel uh, Ratna. I just felt that, you know, where are the non Olympic sports and, and where is, you know, and, and why so many awards? Uh, I understand that now the standards have gone up in Indian sport because back in the day, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, there weren't as many people getting so many medals for the country. But now you have a lot of champions, which is great, which is a great sign for Indian sport. Uh, and we should celebrate that, even if it's not in the Olympics or Asian Games as much. But we need to just be very, very prudent and wise and say, okay, fine, let's define what sporting excellence is. You know, if somebody finishes fourth or fifth in the Olympics, that's not enough. Sorry, as close as you are to winning a medal, it's not enough to qualify you for an award. So, uh, and similarly, if you're part of a non-Olympic sport, you can't match them with the Olympic sports and say, oh, just because they won a bronze compared to a world championship gold, you're going to give them more weightage. So, uh, my suggestion is to have a separate uh, a quota for non-Olympic sports. Right, and even if it's the Olympic sports, only to those who won medals, because there has to be some standard. If you're going to give it to everybody just based on popularity and hype, then you're not really truly rewarding sporting or uh, excellence. You also then feel that you know the the Khel Ratna, the highest sporting honor in this country, has sort of become about encouraging athletes more than you know rewarding their accomplishments. Like you said, uh, finishing fourth at the Olympics is not the same as winning a medal at the Olympics or any other big world event. And therefore, there needs to be that clear demarcation between what is deserving of the highest sporting honor in the country and what is just not making the cut just yet. I think somewhere down the line, we've lost that essence that are we really looking to be consistent winners or are we just happy doing something that we've never done before and just saying, okay, fine, great achievement. After this, whatever you get is a bonus. Um, that's where I feel like our priorities, our aspirations have to change and our objectives, our aims as, as sports persons and as a nation that is truly evolving to be a sporting nation. Uh, forget cricket obviously for now, but even when you come to the Olympic sports, we, should, we shouldn't be happy with number four. We have to move forward and say, listen, if a country like Malaysia or Thailand probably wins more medals than us or smaller countries, you know, uh, then we've got to, we've got to step up and see what is it that we can do to improve our medal tally. 
uh, and that that's where i'm coming from that you know even when we award our champions we, it should be with a very very strict uh, you know with very strict parameters 